welcome to another series of Sailing With Us. On the very first episode, we're going to take you somewhere a little bit different. Uh, we're going to go for a trip around the Med. This story starts in 1982. That's me, age 19, on border patrol in Cyprus. Armed only with my trusty SLR and a packet of juicy fruit. Trouble was brewing in the South Atlantic and I joined the rapidly assembled task force sailing for the Falkland Islands. Some of my colleagues boarded the cruise liner the Canberra, affectionately known as the White Whale. I ended up on a rotting Roro ferry. I've always wanted to do a comparison between then and now. With winter dragging on for what seemed like forever, and Blue Solitaire wrapped snugly in her winter cover, we hatched a plan to get on the water and cross the Bay of Biscay on a P&O cruise. We took the hounds for their last walk before putting them in kennels and packing our bags. Come on! What's this? Sit. Is that the last of the bags then, dear? Yes, this is the last one and it's got all the passports and all the important information in. This is going to be our home for the next three weeks. P&O have been super efficient, not only loading us, but all the provisions for the trip. Before leaving port, we had to attend our muster station for a life jacket drill. Although we had a pilot on board, our departure was delayed while the Azura appeared out of the mist. That's our tea swilling captain on the bridge. What on earth did they put in her tea? Hey, don't waft it about, mate. Once the captain had performed the mirror signal manoeuvre technique, we left the dock and headed out into the Solent. Our route took us around the east of the Isle of Wight, past the Nab Tower and into the English Channel. We steamed on through the night, arriving at the Isle of Ushant shipping lanes early in the morning. We continued to steam on a southwesterly course clearing the continental shelf. However, lurking in southern Biscay was a storm and we were heading straight for it. Incidentally, the weather pattern was exactly the same in 1982. If the weather gets really bad or you're sinking, you can always close the porthole and make your room watertight Rob just has to play with things. Up on the aft deck, things weren't much better. I don't recall seeing a wave machine mentioned in the brochure. One of the quietest places to chill is in the gym. 
and clock up a few miles on the cross trainer. Even the sauna is empty and grabbing an iced water I can sit, relax and read my book as the bow of the ship gently nods as we cross mile after mile of empty ocean. Meanwhile, up on top deck, I'm having fun doing a pop quiz. Let's take you on a tour of the ship. Oriana was launched in 1995 and still holds the Golden Cockerel Trophy as the fastest P&O ship in the fleet. She weighs in at nearly 70,000 tonne, 1,800 passengers and over 700 crew. In comparison to my Falkland Islands ferry with twice the amount of troops and a ship weighing only 20,000 tonnes. At the end of this long corridor is our cabin. We have a television in the room and four wardrobes. Little bathroom. Beds. And a shower that you have to run round inside to get wet. I wouldn't recommend a Ford cabin because they come with bunk beds like this. Ouch. And as you can see, there's not much room for us to actually get into our bed, even with these upright. It's Easter and Rob's bought me some lovely Easter eggs. Mm -mm. Are they free range? Definitely. The chefs are proud to show off their chocolatier and night skills. And these are an example of the stainless steel mess trays we had in the task force. Tonight is black tie and a champagne evening. How's your champagne, Mindy? Absolutely splendid, thank you. To show how much weight you put on over dinner, you can have your photograph taken before and after. We chose the DIY option and, of course, the mandatory Titanic pose. Our fellow diners from table 17 were Jane, Betty, Andrea and Neville, Kieran and Nita. Every evening, our friendly waiter would give us a game to solve. This is my cow. Okay. Yeah. Cow. This is my cow. Yes. Two moves you got. Just two moves. I want this cow to turn opposite side. Yes. The thing is that the tail should stand straight itself. This tail should not fall down. Cow looking the other way with just two moves. With the tail still upright. And the tail is still upright. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no lighty, no likey. After dinner, sometimes we'll go and watch a movie, or perhaps even a show. This character actually came runner-up on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Oh, they got me inside.
Graham. That's right, Theresa May. That was it today, I'm going to say, I hate people, right? I hate people who take drugs. You know, like customs officers. I found out the drugs outline the other day. I found out the drugs outline. It said, if you want help giving up drugs, press the hash key. <laughs> Some couples are happy just dancing the night away. It's kind of cute, really. Or if you want to be a real rebel, you can go and do some extreme dad dancing. Our favourite watering holes were either the Lord Tavern or live music in the Crow's Nest. We continued steaming south along the Portuguese coast, rounded the traffic separation scheme off Cape St Vincent and berthed at Cadiz. Join us next time when we explore Cadiz and a Spanish dance team demonstrate how to dry their washing.